Good morning, everybody. Um, so this is a video to walk you guys through uh, hopefully the, sa the snail and just one of the other generic ones, just so you guys can understand um, what the dimensions and all that kind of stuff and where they apply. Remember in the slideshow, first and foremost, um, D that you see throughout this whole entire document here is 1.5 inches. And also remember that the through hole, wherever you see through hole, is actually a square that is 0.26 by 0.26. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys via Onshape how to create this thing. Um, and hopefully that'll help you guys out. So you go to create, obviously, start a new document. I'm gonna start um, just with just typing in cams in general. I'm gonna press okay. And then in here, I'm gonna make each part studio um, a different title. So I'm gonna start with part studio one, come down here, rename this one. And the first one I'm gonna do is, let's call it the, um, let's do the hex cam, because that seems to be a little trouble for some, for some people too. So I'm gonna start a new sketch, go to the front view here, and um, the first thing I'm going to do is make that rectangle. So if you look up here, generally the corner rectangle will not help you in this scenario. We need it to be the center. Um, so we're going to drop that down. We're going to go to center point rectangle. And that allows us to create a rectangle that starts from the center and expands out. Makes it a heck of a lot easier on us. So we're going to click. We're going to press 0.26, enter, 0.26, enter. And now we have our hole, basically, I say hole, but in reality, it's just a peg uh, for the axle to go through. The next thing that um, may or may not be on your radar is the actual uh, polygon. So you'll see if I come up here, there's multiple options for this, circumscribed and inscribed. And we want inscribed because that allows the circle to be right directly to the surface, not to a point, as you can see here. Just remember inscribed for this and you won't need to know the rest. So we start from the center. I just click once and I drag out and it really doesn't matter um, for the first little click where you're going to go. Uh, you click once and then you'll see these numbers start popping up as I move the cursor around. If you look back, it is a hex cam, um, meaning six. So we can just type in six and then press enter. Now that doesn't mess with any of the distances. So we're going to come up to here to a dimension, start from the center and go to a surface and come out here. Now this is where that math kind of comes down. You'll see this document that I, I kind of posted in the bottom left corner here. Uh, it says D divided by two. Remember D is 1.5. So 1.5 divided by two will give us 0.75. So we can punch in 0.75 and that'll create our new uh, hex cam here. It also says in the document after I press the green check mark that it is 0.25 thick. So we can extrude this hex cam to be 0.25 press enter and then we have our hex cam remember to rename also the part over here name uh, to hex and that'll help us later down the road when we continue this project uh, with the animations and stuff so after I'm done with one I can then come down to here and go to uh, create part studio again and that'll create me a whole nother part studio where I can then rename this one uh, and what we're gonna do is a um, snail cam so I'm gonna say snail cam and then I'm gonna start a new sketch on that front sketch again. And this one's a little tricky, which is why I'm trying to go over it. Um, so the first thing, again, go to the square to make that hole. That's why I always like to start with 0.26, enter, 0.26, enter. And again, you'll have that square now. Now we can have something to work with. If we look down at the chart again, you will see the snail cam, which is the uh, bottom row in the center, D divided by four and D divided by two for distances. So again, 1.5 and 1.5, again, is the D um, for, for both instances. So in this case, 1.5 divided by four will give us the 0.375. So I'm going to just draw a line from the center up and I'm gonna say 0.375, press enter. And I'm also going to make another line that is up, click, um, 1.5 divided by 2, which is 0.75. So I'm good there. I have both my lines. Now, that doesn't look like it helps you very much, but what I would do is then draw a circle from the center to that point and a center to that point. And all this does is gives us a reference. We're not even actually going to use all this geometry, but this will help us um, when we're creating the rest of the snail cam. So the next step is to then go into a spline. And you're going to take it from this point, which is the uh, 0.375. I'm actually going to move these dimensions out of the way so it makes it a little easier for you guys to see, hopefully. So now we got a little bit more lines, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to use that spline, and we're going to come from that point, and we are literally going to guess 
our way through this is no actual geometry it's going to make it look as pretty as we possibly can actually the more points you make the better down the road i'm going to make this as tangent as possible and i'm going to press escape to get out of that now what you're going to do now and it looks a little wonky that's okay we're going to move these nodes around to make this look as pretty as possible so the first thing i do is i delete this inside circle altogether and then i trim the outside parameter here where I connected it. Now it looks a little shady, I know, uh, but we will fix that with, with basically um, these nodes. So now what your job is, and there is no science, again, you are moving these nodes to make this look as clean as possible. Again, I just, I'm just winging this for the sake of the video, um, but your goal is to make this as smooth and as close to the image that you see over there as possible. This will never be perfect, and that's okay. Um, don't worry so much about it. Again, I, I did that just for the sake of this demonstration, but you can move those nodes around as much as you want to make it look as close as possible to that. Um, the only dimensions that matter are the ones we made with the lines. I extrude it 0.25, and now I have my snail cam. Make sure to rename both of those for later. You'll need them. And again, you can do the other three. Do not do the heart. The heart is just a, a mess. So please, I'm gonna give you and supply the heart to all classes. Don't worry about that. If you have any questions, email your teacher. Thanks guys.